Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be going over is creating a day night cycle. So we're going to be having something which looks a bit like this. So it goes from day in to night with a sunset there and you see we have stars in the sky as well and it's going to go back to sunrise and daytime once again. So that transition there isn't too smooth because this is going immediately to night. That's partially down to just I've got the setup to transition very quickly purely for the purpose of the tutorial. As you'll see there, it's now sunrise and it's day again. So again, I've set this up to do it very quickly so I can do it for the tutorial. And there will also be other ways to blend it so it's more smooth as well, which I can go over in the future if you want. But today, what we'll be doing is just creating and setting up this very basic day-night cycle, which I've got here. And I've shown you how to customize it as well so you can also change how the sky looks, how bright it's gonna be at night as well. So if you don't want it this bright, I can change that and also how quickly the cycle is going to be as well. Again, I have to set this up for the purpose of the video so it's nice and bright so we can see and it's also nice and quick so we don't have to wait too long as well. So this is what we're we'll going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to actually do is set up our scene for this day-night cycle. So basically what I'm gonna to do to start with is put the light source where I want it to be for the start of my game. I think somewhere here is gonna be fine. If you want to move it, what you can do is hold Control L and just move your mouse to actually then move it about. Sometimes I get this weird glitch where it doesn't move. I honestly don't know why that happens. I think it's a bit of a bug still as it's still early engine in the version. So if you are getting that bug, you can obviously just change it manually down here as well. Once you've set that up, we want to set up the night light sourcing. So what I might do is change this directional light name from directional light to sunlight. And then what I'm going to do is hit Control C, Control V to duplicate that, changing this to night light. I'm not calling it moonlight because I'm not going to move this. This will simply just be the brightness of it at night. So what we're going to do here is then we want to move this to be 0, minus 90, 0. So if we bring it out, it should be pointing straight down like so. So it's just pointing down to our ground. Then what we're going to do is set this up so we actually have a nice brightness for it being dark. So to do that, we need to see what it's going to look like when it is dark. So if we select our sunlight and change the rotation to 0, 0, 0, this is what it's going to be at night, which is obviously not really what we want. So all we're going to do is just change the intensity down to something like 0 0.2 or 0 0.1, anything along those lines, just to get it nice and dark for you. So this is, again, where you're really going to see how dark you want it to be. So even with our sunlight, actually, if we were to change it to just be minus 90 instead of 0, or 90 sorry, not minus 90, this is going to be really dark so we can see how dark it's going to be. Again, I might make it just a little bit brighter than this just for the purpose of the video, so maybe 0.2 like that. And you can also change the colour if you wanted as well, so you can make it a nice dark blue or any other night colour that you want and then if you do that you might want to increase the brightness a little bit. Really just customise it however much that you want to. Maybe not that blue though because that does look a little bit off. So something along those lines might be good for you. Again, you can really go into more detail on this. I'm not gonna go too much into it. I'm just gonna show you what you can change and how you can do it. So once you've got that set up, you can obviously then reset your sunlight back to the rotation which you wanted it to be in, which for me was this. And as the night light is so dim, we can't actually tell it's here during the day. So we don't need to enable and disable it. We can just always have it enabled like that. However, if you did want to disable it, I will show you how to do that as well. So now once you've got this all set up, what we want to do is actually now start setting up the movement of the sunlight. So to do that, we're going to go into the level blueprint up here. So open level blueprint. And this is actually nice and simple. So all we're going to do is right click and get event tick. As we do want to make sure this is constantly updating. So this is one of the few things which is okay to put on event tick. Then create a new variable here, naming this cycle speed or just speed, whatever makes sense for you. Making that a float variable like so and compiling and saving. So as you can guess, this is going to be the speed at which our day-night cycle is being performed at. I'm going to put it as 10 just for the purpose of the video. So again, it's nice and quick. You can obviously change this and customize it to get it perfect for you. Then we're going to hold control and get that here. Out of the delta seconds of the event tick, we can get a multiply, multiplying that by the cycle speed. And the reason why we're multiplying the speed by the delta seconds of the event tick is just to make sure that it is working nice and smoothly and in time with our event tick. So it's not gonna lag and desync. Then we want to right click and make rotator, connecting in the Y to that multiplication there. So X is zero, Y is multiplication 
z is zero. And this rotator is now gonna be the rotation of our sun. However, we don't want to just set rotation. Uh, so what we want to do is just select our sunlight or, our, or directional light, whatever you named it, in our outliner. And then back in our level blueprint, we're going to right click and create a reference, or you can just drag and drop it in like so. Then back in the level blueprint, what we're going to do is drag out of our light and we're going to add actor local rotation. So we're not setting the rotation, we're just adding to it. And the delta rotation will obviously be our make rotator we just created there. And so that is really all we need to do now to actually have a day night cycle. So we can compile, save, minimize, and hit play to test this out. And you'll see the sun is going to be moving. We'll now have a day night cycle. However, when the sun does set, it's just going to be completely pitch black in the sky, which I mean, you might want that if you wanted. So you'll see this is what we get. You might want that, but it doesn't look too amazing. So I'm going to show you a quick way to change that. So if we go back into our level blueprint, what we can do is get another reference to our directional light or our sunlight, whatever you named it. And out of this, we're going to get actor rotation, very simply like so. And out of this, we're gonna get an equal equal. And we're gonna get two of these like so, changing the error tolerance to a value of one. So because this is moving fairly quickly, we need to just give it that tolerance so it can actually check these values. And the values I'm gonna input in here is 180, 0, 180, and then 0, 0, 0. What this is doing is checking to see when it is day and when it is night. So technically what this is, is this here is sunrise, this here is sunset. So when the sun is in this position, those are those values. So you can obviously move this if you want as well. So if you wanted this as 10 instead of zero, that's just before sunset. And this would be, could be minus 10, so it's just before sunrise. Obviously do whatever that you want. Then we're obviously gonna hold down B left click to get some branches to check these values with the condition of these being the equal equals that we just created like so, connecting the second branch into false of the first. Because if it's not sunrise, we want to see if it's sunset. And again, we're gonna be checking this on event tick, so it will do it as soon as it reaches that value. So again, this top branch is daytime, this bottom branch is nighttime. And what I might do is hover over the branch, press the three dots here to toggle the comment bubble, and just write day and night so that when you come back to it later on, you can very clearly and easily see which is which because you will likely forget. And then once it does reach these values, we don't want this to be constantly firing off. We only want to do it once, once it reaches sunrise and sunset because whatever we do during the day, we only want it to happen once and the same with night. So out of true, we're gonna get a do once like so for both of these, very simply like that. And then what we're also going to do is out of completed is get a sequence like so. And what we're going to do is make sure the sequence goes into the reset of the other do once. So then one is going to go into reset and then zero reset there. It doesn't matter which one you do for then one and then zero. I'm just doing it that way because it's the closest one to it. And the reason we are resetting the other one is because when it's day, we're going to make sure we've only done the day one once and then reset the night. When it's night, we're only doing that once and then resetting the day, which means once it's day again, this is reset to be able to do once again. So I hope that all makes sense. And then out of the other execution pin in the sequence, we're gonna do the code we want for day and night. For me, that is gonna be changing the sky sphere to look different. So we can minimize this again, select our SM sky sphere, and again, get a reference to that in here like we did with the light. And out of this, what we're going to do is get static mesh component and then set material very simply like so now for day i want to reset it to what it to what it is already which is just simple sky dome i think if i just search for sky we should get it here we've got the simple sky dome like so and then we're going to do the same for down here setting the material making sure to connect the target up and if you just search sky you'll see we get all these different ones here uh, the one which I'm using is going to be Sky Night or Procedural Sky Night. You can obviously use whichever ones you want, but this is the one which I'm using. And we'll compile and save that. And that is all we need to do. That is now the code fully done and working for us. So if we minimize this, hit play to test it out, you'll notice again, like I did said earlier, the sun is moving. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. 
So the sun is moving, it's rotating, it's going to go all the way down, and once it goes down, the sky sphere will change to be starry, so night like so, and the same will happen, but the other way, so the opposite, when it comes to sunrise, it will remove the stars and go back to the normal day one. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we set up a very simple day-night cycle in which what happens is the sun is going to move around us as you can see here and when it goes to night the sky will change to stars when it comes back to day it will change back to what it is here and again i've shown you how to customize it all to change the materials change the speed change which point is sunrise and sunset and all that great stuff so again it's very easy to change for you so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one